Yo, what's going on, people? It's John Bucky Blind Network here. Welcome to Where Zer. This is my new series. Basically, I will be telling you each weapon he has, the location of him, and a review of each weapon, and should you buy it, and how it can be implicated in your gameplay. Well, they replaced the random exotic engram with an exotic shard, apparently. I mean, that's pretty cool. I rarely bought those anyway. Helm of Inmost Light. Now, this one is basically used for the Titan to increase his melee attacks for close quarter combat, to where you would actually have no choice to evade the enemy. You have to take them down in order for you to pursue. Or escape, this is perfect for you, and also perfect for those Titans who actually have those shields that don't have have weapons light or armor light. Young Akahirim Spine, now this one mostly used for the hunters that need to evade their enemies, getting away, leaving the trip mines to actually have a longer set time period. Then you can actually get grenade kills that upgrade your special using the arc blade and such. For any other enemies that are in your way, you can easily cut them down. This is best for that. You know, I have never seen the Akaham's chest. I've seen the helmet, I've seen the arm, never the chest. The Light Beyond Nemesis helmet is perfect for teammate support. Now, in this one, you can actually increase your melee attack speed. And if you're a Sun Secret, it actually works double for you because you get the double shield, which means you have an additional shield to go and assist your teammates. Now, you also we use your super you can generate other orbs for your teammates and help them get the mission done a lot more effectively than they would have prior without it. This is the best helmet for teammate support I've ever seen. Being able to get your teammates up in enough time can be the difference between you winning the match and losing the match. This helmet is perfect for it. Put in the comments what you think about this helmet. All right, now moving on. Ooh, we have Plan C Arc Damage. and actually is a pretty cool uh, fusion rifle. I don't really use fusion rifles, but it does look pretty cool. Hip fire, bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Now reduces charge time, accelerated coils, plan C, charge and equip times are very short immediately after weapon swap. Okay, I love how they have plan C to start with a C, exotic shard and spirit boom. Now I'm going to show you guys the exotic shard. To me, this is a punishment for us. Like legitimately, Bungie was mad that we were exploiting their game, so they gave us the exotic shard as a punishment. Now you have to buy one for seven strange coins, which is fucking insane. Seriously. Now, okay, I'm going to go down and show you. See right there? They it literally eliminated the whole... You need ascended energy. Um, you need ascended shards. Now they just got exotic shards, and that replaces some of them. Some weapons you still need it. Um, to be honest, legendary weapons you do not need the exotic shard. It's only exotic weapons, and not every exotic weapon is going to require that. I just looked in my vault. Actually, some of my legendary needed ascended energy. Some of them didn't. It was crazy. So this whole thing is a big random process. I'll keep you updated on everything. I do updates about this every single week when Zer comes out. Make sure to subscribe to me, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.